Hi guys, and welcome back to the second instalment of making a pair of hand paws. So in the last video, you saw me pattern these puffy hand paws, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through making them. Hope you enjoy! So the next part after patterning these paws is to cut out the pieces of fabric that you're going to be using. So here you're going to watch me tracing these pattern pieces onto varying furs. So I'm going to be using a nice short seal fur, as well as a nice long luxury shag fur for the back of the hands. And for the front of the hands, I'm going to shave down some of that luxury shag, which you're going to watch me do um, before I cut the pieces out or um, actually go into any particular sewing. This way it just makes it a little bit easier to control and gives you a little bit more of an idea of how everything is going to turn out. Now I'm also going to be using a minky fabric which is going to be for the hand paws, so that's the blue stuff that you see me using and I'm tracing onto the back of that. And I'm also using a lycra fabric which is a stretchy lining that I'm going to use for the inside of these paws to separate the hands from the stuffing that will turn them into puffy paws. It's not a great deal more I can say on the cutting out, so I'm just going to leave you guys to watch this bit and see how I do it. I use a small pair of scissors. You can use a razor blade on the back of the fur, just make sure it's really, really sharp because else it can just make the edges a little bit frayed and difficult to work with. I found these scissors are the neatest way of me cutting things out, and that's why I use that method now. Once all these pieces are cut out, brushed and ready, I'm going to move on to sewing the paw pads. So in this particular type of pattern that I'm using, I'm going to be sewing the paw pads together, so two pieces of fabric, leaving small opening to stuff them. Then I'm going to sew this, um, the actual pad pieces into the fur by hand. This is a long way of doing it, there is another method which is called applique which I will cover in a future video, however I wanted to try this for the puffy paws method because I haven't found the applique to be particularly successful for me anyway when it comes to stuffing the paw pads to make them extra squishy. So you can see me pinning two pieces of this minky together with the paw pad drawn on the back, stitching around the edge leaving a small opening and then I'll go ahead and cut these out just around the edge after I've sewn them all together. Next up I'm going to sew the front of the hand together, so that involves pinning and sewing all of the fronts of the fingers onto the main palm, as well as the arm piece if you're going to be using a different colour of fur for that, which in this case I am. However you do need to be doing the fingers individually because with the seam allowance there's not quite enough space to have them included in the pattern, if that makes sense. That little bit of extra seam on the edge of the fingers helps to make them just a little bit bigger, a little bit puffier, so they really stand out. All of the hand sewing that I'm going to be doing in this video will be using the blanket stitch. I will leave a link down in the description and hopefully a card in the video as well at this point so that you can click on a tutorial that I've done where I cover different types of stitching, which includes the blanket stitch. I've only shown you one of the hands because there's no point showing you exactly the same of both, that's what I'm going to be do th doing through this video. So what I'm moving on to now is just sewing the edges of the fingers, so that's the dart in the end of the finger that gives it the rounded shape on the top of the hand. I'm just going to be pinning all of these at once and then running them through the sewing machine together. Back to the dreaded hand sewing. I don't like machine sewing these pieces because I find them too small and fiddly and I don't think that I can get as accurate with my stitching, so I'm just going to be hand stitching the tops of these fingers onto the tops of the hands. Next up I'm going to use those small pointy scissors to cut through just the backing of the fur to cut out the actual paw pad areas in the front of the hands. As I haven't included a seam allowance in the pattern, I have to remember to cut these out with a small seam allowance so that I can sew the paw pads on afterwards. 
In this instance, I stuffed the paw pads before I sewed them into the hands. However, I'm gonna recommend that for you guys, you sew them in first and then stuff them afterwards. So right at the very end and then sew that last little bit because I found them a nightmare to sew and a nightmare to run the paws through the machine at the end with the stuffed paw pads. And now for the most tedious part. I'm going to be taking those paw pad beans and I'm going to be pinning them to the slots that they belong in on the hands and then hand sewing each and every one of them in. So I'm not going to talk too much for you guys while you're watching this. Again, it's the blanket stitch that I'm using here and the one thing you want to make sure you do is sew just on the inside of the stitching that you've done when you actually sewed up those paw pads. This is because if you don't do that then you may risk seeing that stitching on the outside. That clock you can see on my phone there is in minutes. This has been sped up 64 times just to save your poor brains. These paws did take me a couple of days to make. While you guys are watching this super boring clip of me just stitching for hours, um, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone that supported me on Patreon. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Every little donation helps me put more time towards making these videos for you. I'm still struggling with the weekly thing, don't get me wrong, but it makes it so much easier by the support that you guys give me. So if you don't support me on Patreon, please consider popping over there. There's a link in the description. Take a look, see if you can support my work and see if any of the reward tiers are maybe something that would be interesting for you guys. Thanks very much. And finally back to that lycra lining. So I'm just gonna pin this piece to the, the piece of lycra behind it and then just stitch around the edge using a nice straight simple stitch. You can use a zigzag stitch as well, I've done that. It's no problem at all, but whichever suits you guys. And then just go around afterwards and cut out the pieces. We're just gonna pop that lining off to the side and we are nearly there guys, I promise. So I'm using my wonder clips to pin the front and back pieces of these paws together and then stitching them up by hand with a blanket stitch. As always, I'm not going to be doing the, the sort of wrist areas because I'm going to machine sew around this edge anyway. I just like to hand sew all the fingers because I think it keeps it a lot neater in the final piece. While I get back on with lots and lots of blanket stitching, just a little note to say that if you guys would like to see any particular videos, please feel free to just leave that in the comments. Let me know on Twitter, let me know wherever you like. I look forward to doing the stuff that you guys want to see. The more requests for something I get, the more likely I am to do it, but obviously be mindful, my time is limited and I can't do everything. You know, maybe all in good time I might get around to doing everything, but not at the moment. That said, however small or large, please leave your suggestions down in the bottom there for me. Quite simply now I'm going to hop onto the sewing machine and run the very edge of the paws through the machine on a zigzag stitch that I'm going to put right up close to the very edge of the fur. Now to add the lining I'm just going to pin it to the palm side of the fur and then I'm just going to add a few stitches into the ends of the fingers, the gaps between the fingers and the edge by the wrist. You can add a couple of more around the, the wrist area near the palm if you like, that's entirely up to you guys but I find this to be enough. Turn these paws right side out and a little bit of stuffing. You don't want too much else it can be too hard to fit your hands in and give them a test fit. The final step is to cuff the raw edge with some kind of fabric or bias binding to stop it from looking pretty messy. I'm gonna link you guys to a matrices tutorial where she talks about using double fold bias binding tape purely because I'm not gonna do a very good job of verbally explaining it to you. But in this process, I've added um, my little Kloof Suits labels into one of the hands, which would normally be the right, but it doesn't really matter because these are asymmetrical. Right at the very end, I'm just gonna use a mixture of clippers and thinning scissors to just trim up those bits of fur that I cut down myself. If you use short seal fairs, they don't need to be trimmed, they're perfectly fine as they are. I just like this step to neaten everything up and make the edges look all crisp. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I made this set of puffy anthro canine handballs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do check out any of my other videos if you haven't already. Um, subscribing is super great if you guys want to see any more of this from me. I would really, really appreciate that. It all goes towards helping me be able to create more tutorial videos for you guys in the future. Thank you very much for stopping by and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye bye! You can help me make more videos just like this one by supporting Kloof Suits on Patreon.